There's a friend in Fimble Valley that we're on our way to see. To hear him tell his stories, and maybe stay for tea. He's a mole who's living underground, and his name is Roly Mo. Roly, 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 Roly Mo. He's the rolliest mole you'll ever know, and his name is Roly Mo. Hello to you. How do you do? Hello, little Bo. <laughs> Hello, Migo. Have you seen Hugo? No, I've only just got here. We're playing hide and seek, but he'll never find me. <laughs> Hello, little Bo. Hello, Hugo. Have you seen Migo? Well, yes, I... We're playing hide and seek, but I just can't find him. <laughs> Looks like they're having fun. Ready? Then off we go! Whee! <laughs> oh, you go, me go. Oh, me go, you go. Found you, amigo. Uh oh, me go, come back here. Oh, there you are. And how are you today? I was just looking for my best wooden spoon. Oh, I can't find it anywhere. Hello, Uncle Rolly. Oh, hello there, little Bo. I was just telling our friends that I can't find my best wooden spoon anywhere. Oh, it must be playing hide and seek, just like Hugo and Miko. Oh, well, I just can't remember where I put it. Shall I help you look for it, Uncle Rolly? Oh, no, no, thank you, little Bo. You run along and play with Hugo and Miko. All right, Uncle Rolly. See you later. Snootergator. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, what are you playing? We're playing Mego Says. Do you want to play with us? Oh, yes, please. I love this game. Tell me again how to play, Mego. Oh, pff, all right. If I say Mego Says you have to do something, then you have to do it. And if I don't say Mego Says, you don't uh, do it. Right. Mego Says do it, I do it. Mego Says don't do it. I don't do it. Uh, something like that, yes. Ready? Yes. yes. Then here goes. Migo says, put your paw on your nose. Do you mean put my paw on my snooter? Yes, yes, I did mean put your paw on your snooter. I mean, Migo says, put your paw on your snooter. Because I didn't know when you said nose if you meant snooter too, because snoots have snooters, you see. Oh, come on, Hugo, just play the game. All right, all right, I'm doing it. Look. Well done, you go. Now, Migo says jump up and down. <laughs> Do you mean jump up and down with my paw still on my snooter, or can I take my paw off my snooter? I don't think it matters, Hugo. It doesn't matter, Hugo. Then I think I'll take my paw off my snooter. It's easier to jump up and down when I haven't got my paw on my snooter. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> What are you doing, Hugo? Stopping. Just like you said. I didn't say stop. Yes, you did. You said stop, didn't you? Yes, I did. I said stop. Oh, there you go, then. But I didn't say Migo say stop. You are. Oh, he didn't say Migo say stop. He just said stop. But that's why I stopped. But we're only supposed to do things when he says Migo says. Oh, right. I think. Oh, let's do something else, shall we? What are we going to do? Um, oh, I know. Uh, pause, snooter, tomatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> pause, snooter, tomatoes, tomatoes. Oh, yes, I know this one. I know where my paw is, and I know where my snooter is, and my term, and my toes. Come on, then, you snoots. Snooter Tomatoes, Tomatoes and Paws and Snooter Tom.
tomatoes. Pour Snooter tomatoes. Get a drink. Oh, I'm really not very good at that game. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought you might need a drink after all that jumping up and down and singing. Thank you, Uncle Rolly. Have you found your wooden spoon yet? Oh, not yet, little Bo, but thank you for asking. <sighs> You're it! Can't catch me! <laughs> Coming to get you, amigo! Don't you want to play tag with the others, Hugo? No, thank you, Roly. Oh. Ooh, what's the matter, Hugo? Well, I'm not very good at anything. What makes you say that, Hugo? Well... I can't play any of the games that Little Bo and Mego are playing. <sighs> well, sometimes it's a case of finding something that you're good at. What do you mean, Roly? Well, you're good at singing the book-finding song with me, aren't you? Oh, yes. I love singing it with you. <laughs> then come with me and I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo, boo! Wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now, what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. A story specially for you, go, if you please. Ah, thank you. Story time with Roly Moe, my favourite time of day. Now, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. <laughs> Three little kangaroos were bouncing. Joe, Joanne and their little brother Joey. Watch this, said Joe, and with a big... He bounced high up in the air. Me next, said Joanne, and with a big... She bounced high in the air. And me, said little Joey. But however much he tried, he could only do a tiny little bounce. Come on, Joey, let's try again, said Joe. No, said Joey. I want to do something else. I don't like bouncing. You don't like bouncing, asked Joanne. No, said little Joey. I'll never be able to bounce as high as you two. And he bounced off, feeling very sorry for himself. He found his mum. Mum, said Joey, I can't bounce as high as Joe or Joanne, so I don't want to bounce any more. Oh, said his mother, but you're very good at bouncing. No, I'm not, said Joey. Look. And with a... He did his little bounce again. Hmm, why don't you try something new, said his mum. And she did a great big bounce. And then she did a little somersault at the top. Wow, said Joey. That looks like fun. I'm going to try it. So he did. Hi, that was great, said Joe, bouncing up. Do you think you could teach me how to do it? And me, said Joanne. So Joey taught them all how to somersault, and now they're bouncing and somersaulting and somersaulting and bouncing all over the place. Mm. 
there. Now do you see what I mean? I think so, Rowley. Even though Joey couldn't jump as high as the others, he could do really, 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 really good somersaults. <laughs> That's right, you go. I'm going to go and find the others and play with them some more. <laughs> Why, yes, that is a good idea, you go. See you later, Rowley, and thank you. See you later, Snootagator. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, little Bo, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, Hugo. We're playing sleeping snoots. Do you want to play too? Oh, yes. I should be good at this. I'm good at sleeping. Now, remember, you can't move. <clears throat> Can I just ask... You're out! I saw you. You moved, Hugo. But, uh, oh, ugh. I really can't play anything right. I know. Let's have a look in my busy book. There are lots of games in there. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Baby Pom. What are we going to do today, Baby Pom? There's a flower. Look, there's something hiding behind that petal. It's a blue umbrella. A red book. A green train. And there's a yellow sandcastle. It's a remembering game. Let's find the yellow sandcastle. Which petal is it behind? Is it behind this petal? There's the green train. So where's the yellow sandcastle? Is it behind this petal? There's the red book. So where is the yellow sandcastle? Is it behind this petal? Or is it behind that petal? Hooray! There it is! We did it! We found the yellow sandcastle! And can you remember what's under this petal? Is it something blue? Yes! It's the blue umbrella! Oh, well done, Hugo! Thank you, Baby Pom! See you again soon! <laughs> hey, that was fun! You were very good at it! You remember remembered everything! Hey, yes, I did! That's what I'm good at! I'm good at remembering things! Did I hear you say that you're good at remembering things? Yes, I am. Then maybe you can remember what I've done with my best wooden spoon. Oh, I just can't find it anywhere. Hmm, your best wooden spoon. Let me remember. Uh, oh, I know where it is. It was in the bathroom. You lent it to us last bath day to use as a paddle in our boat. Don't you remember? Oh, the bathroom. Of course. Hooray! Hooray! Well remembered, Hugo. <laughs> well haven't we had fun today? Yes, yes it's, it's been, been a roly moly day. You will come and join us next time in Thimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Hello to you. How do you do? <laughs> oh, do you like my crown? I made it today at school. I stuck it together all by myself. Come on now, let's go and show Uncle Rolly. Ready? Then off we go! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just baking a very special cake for a very special person. I wonder if you can guess who it is. Hello, Uncle Rolly. Oh, hello there, little Bo. I was just telling our friends that someone special is coming for tea today. Oh, who's coming for tea, Uncle Rolly? Well, see if you can guess. Will you give me a clue? <laughs> of course I will. I'll give you three clues. Oh, great. What's the first clue, Uncle Rolly? Uh, um, the first clue is... The colour blue. Like the jewels in my crown. 
Let's go and find Hugo and Migo. They can help us guess. You go! Migo! We go! Amigo! Let's a go go! Can you think of something blue? <laughs> hmm, something blue? Something blue? Yes, something blue. Someone special is coming for tea, and we've got to guess who it is. Well, who is it? I don't know. We've got to guess. What's for tea? I don't know that either, but I'm sure it'll be something special. Come on, then. Let's guess. <laughs> Hello, hello, who do you think would come for tea? Is it you or is it me? Is it no or is it yes? Come on, Snoots, we've got to guess. Hello, hello, who do you think would come for tea? Is it you or is it me? Something blue like... Blue Galoo! Do you think... <laughs> we know who's coming to tea. Really? Who is it? Is it the Blue Galoo? Well, uh, no, it's not the Blue Galoo. Oh. Uh, shall I give you your second clue? Yes, yes please. please! Here goes then. Hop! Hop! Hop, hop! We've got to think of something that can hop. How are we going to do that then? Maybe my busy book can help. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Flory! We're looking for something that can hop. Can you help us? Oh, look, a rabbit. Can a rabbit hop? <coughs> yes, a rabbit can hop. What else can hop? It's a horse. Can a horse hop? <laughs> no, the horse can't hop. But it can trot. That's a watering can. Can a watering can hop? No, the watering can can't hop. But it can water a flower and make it grow. Can you think of anything else that can hop? What's that? It's a kangaroo! A kangaroo? Yes! Can a kangaroo hop? It can! The kangaroo can hop. Hooray! How many things did we find that can hop? A kangaroo, one. And a rabbit, two. We found two things that can hop. Thank you, Flory. See you again soon. That's it. It's definitely a blue... Rabbit! No, a kangaroo. I wonder, do you think it's a blue kangaroo? I'm not sure. Hello, hello. Who do you think would come for tea? Is it you or is it me? Is it no or is it yes? Come on, Snoots, we've got to guess. Oh, oh, a blue kangaroo! Do you think it's a kangaroo? Hello, hello. Who do you think would come for tea? If it isn't you and it isn't isn't the friendly old blue balloon? Then it must be a very big blue kangaroo. A very big blue kangaroo? Ooh! A very big blue kangaroo, that's true. Come on, let's go and tell Roly. <laughs> ah, there you are again. This time we know who it is. Oh? Who is it? It's a blue kangaroo. A very big blue kangaroo. <laughs> I'm afraid you're still not quite right. Oh. Uh, would you like the last clue? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> then I'll be back. 
in a roly mo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, story time with Roly Mo. Our favourite time of day. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. A book that will give us the last clue, if you please. Ah, thank you. Now then, are you all sitting comfortably? Yes! yes. Good. Then I'll begin. Hmm. The princess didn't have many friends to play with, and so she had lots of time to practice her juggling, and she was very good at it. In fact, the princess was so good at juggling that she wanted to be the best juggler in the whole kingdom. One day, she was juggling her golden balls. She juggled one, then two, then three, Four and five balls. Suddenly, splosh! One of the balls fell into the pond. Oh, what am I going to do? She said. Don't worry, said a voice. The princess looked round and saw a little frog. I will swim down and get it for you, he said. But if I do, then every day you must come down to the pond and juggle for me. You are completely crackers, said the princess. But she agreed to do as he asked. So the frog swam down into the pond and fetched the ball. And, true to her word, every day the princess came to the pond and juggled her balls, and the frog laughed and clapped. One day, the king held a juggling competition at the palace. The princess was so busy juggling and showing off and winning prizes that she forgot her promise to the little frog. The frog got fed up with waiting, so he hop, hop, hopped all the way to the palace to find her. The princess was juggling ten bananas when in hopped the frog. She was so surprised that the bananas all fell down, splat! The king was cross that the princess had not kept her promise, and so he took away the golden balls and said, No more juggling! The frog didn't like to see the princess unhappy, so he said to the king, I am the world-famous pie-spinning frog. If I show you my pie-spinning trick, will you give the golden balls back to the princess? Bring some pies, said the king, who did so love to see a new trick. Let the pie spinning begin. So the frog spun a blackberry pie on his foot, a strawberry pie on his head, and an apple pie in each hand. Magnificent, said the king, and he gave the princess back her balls. The princess was so pleased that she kissed the frog and the frog turned into a handsome prince. From that day on, the princess and the frog prince were best friends. Every day they juggled and span lily leaves and lived happily ever after. There, that's your third clue. <laughs> oh, I think I can smell my very special cake. I'd better hurry and get it out of the oven. <laughs> I think we know who's coming for tea now, don't we? Yeah! <laughs> Do we? Yes! Hello! Hello! Now we know who's coming for tea. It isn't you and it isn't me. We all tried our best and we had a guess. And it was quite hard, we must confess. And now we know. We know who's going to come for tea. We know he's blue. Not like me. 
And we know he can really, really hop it There's only one person it's got to be A, a prince, prince. <laughs> A prince? Yes, a prince Yippity dippity Yippity dippity but you go, me go. Hippity hoopity hoo. How'd you diddly do? It's Rocket. Of course it's Rocket. We've got to tell him. Yes, we've got to smell him. I mean, tell him. Tell him what? Thy prince is coming for tea. Hey, <laughs> have I missed something? No, you're just in time for tea, Rocket. Yummity yum. Ooh, a red carpet. Who's that for? It's for... The, the Prince! prince. Mm. The Prince? Yes, a prince is coming for tea. Wow, how exciting! <laughs> <gasps> oh, here he comes now! <laughs> oh, Rocket, you're here already. It's Rocket. Yes, yes, we know it's Rocket. No, it's Rocket who is coming to tea. <gasps> Think about it. He's blue. He's the best hopper in Thimble Valley. And Rowley's story was about a frog. <gasps> but what are we going to do? Leave it to me. So, uh, when's the prince getting here, eh? The prince? Rocket, can I give you a kiss? Uh, well, uh, yes, of course you can. Um, maybe I'll turn into a prince. That's um. the idea. <laughs> oh, thank you. I oh, thank you. Hooray! <laughs> Prince Rocket. Now, um, is any of that apple crumble cake for me? <laughs> well, we've had a good guessing day today. Yes, it's been a roly moly day. <laughs> you will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Cheerio! Cheerio!